Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. John Brunel here with AI Addict. Today, we are going to test Acceleration Boost on the Tesla Model 3. If you're unfamiliar with Acceleration Boost, it's an over-the-air upgrade on the Tesla Model 3 long range that increases the already quick zero to 60 speed by an additional half second for $2,000. So after this upgrade, apparently the vehicle should have a 0 to 60 of 3.7. So today we're gonna put it to the test and see how well that upgrade actually does at you know, doing what it does, giving us a half second upgrade for just a push of a button. So here we are in a safe rural country road where it's safe to come to a stop and do these tests. We're gonna run it three times before the upgrade and three times after the upgrade to compare the difference. So with that, let's begin. Three, two, one. Perfect, 60 miles an hour, time's right there on your screen, and we're gonna run that two more times. Three, two, one. Perfect, 60 miles an hour, time's right there on your screen. And here we are conducting our last test before acceleration boost. Three, two, one. And we hit 60, just like that. So these are the results after the first three runs we did. You will notice that on each run, the times did get faster. This is most likely due to the tires getting warmer on each run. So now we've got those three runs out of the way, let's go ahead and upgrade to Acceleration Boost and try this again. In order to upgrade to Acceleration Boost, you must navigate to the Tesla phone app and select the Upgrades tab. You have the option to purchase it for $2,000 or 9,500 referral credits, which I fortunately have. Once purchased, connect the car to Wi-Fi and it should automatically upgrade within a couple hours. While we wait for the acceleration boost to apply to the Tesla, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Autel. And before you skip forward in the video, you should know I've been using this Autel Level 2 Maxi Charger for two years now. So when Autel reached out offering to sponsor this video, it was an absolute no-brainer. They have been pioneers in the aftermarket vehicle industry for decades, and their new Autel Level 2 Maxi Charger allows me to charge both my Tesla and my Chevy universally at 9.6 kilowatts. It does this by utilizing 40 amps at 240 volts. It's easily my go-to for charging needs, especially after these zero to 60 runs. The Autel Charger also comes with a phone app that allows you to manage your charging metrics in the cloud. It's incredibly easy to set up within minutes, and in addition to being both durable and heat resistant, the Maxi Charger is also waterproof up to an IP65 rating. And my favorite feature, however, is the incredible 25-foot charging cable, which can go anywhere. And right now, you can get 30% off this Maxi Charger using our promo code in the description below. That's a wonderful savings of $168. So don't wait on this incredible deal. It will not last long. And with that, let's go back to see how good the acceleration boost works on the Tesla now that it's been updated. So now if we go into the car's display in the software menu, you can see we have acceleration boost included as a package. So it did take effect. It took a couple hours over the cloud once we connected the Wi-Fi. So with that, let's now run three more tests with the new upgrade to see how it differs to the vehicle before the upgrade. And remember, all we did was push a button on the app and now my car should suddenly be faster. Three. Two, one, go. 60, wow. And right here you can see on your display the time that that zero to 60 was and we're gonna run it two more times for you. Inside the car, it did feel significantly faster. The one big takeaway I did see that was different is that the car definitely tilted back a lot harder than it did before. All right, test number two. In three, two, one, go. Wow, 60, wow, that is, that feels way, way faster. Here we are a third and final time with the acceleration boost in three, two, one, go. 60, just, it just keeps going, wow. Wow, that's just very impressive. For just a push of a button on a phone screen, my car is now just suddenly faster. And that's the incredible things about electric cars and Tesla is that they allow you to be able to do these things and offer these packages. If you're watching this and haven't bought a Tesla yet, I'd recommend just getting the car and seeing how it is and trying and trying it for about a year. And then after about a year or two, when you get bored with that acceleration, that's when you should upgrade to acceleration boost. That's exactly what I did here today. After
after about two years and got bored of it, I upgraded to acceleration and now makes my car feel brand new and exciting again. So with that, feel free to like or subscribe and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.